we came together as a group. We were down, I guess, 14 at one time in, in the second half. And we came together, we kept fighting, and I was like, yeah, that's Spartan basketball right there. A huge win and a consummate team effort by the Spartans. That's called winning DNA, my friend. I think that was a big win for us, but it was one. Can you sustain a level that's good enough to win big games at this level? Those times can be frustrating at times, too, like at Penn State, when I didn't think we brought it like you need to bring it. Stevens charges the bucket, pulls up, floater, short, rebound. Stevens gets it, kicks it to Watkins. He's fouled by Tum Tum Nair. Nair's going nuts over Bridges. He's not happy with the freshman not getting a rebound. In that game against Penn State, you know, Miles should have went after the rebound. He didn't. So I addressed him and told him that he needed to go after the ball. And, and that was it. And that's the kind of things that, you know, we, we have to do as teammates because we want to make each other better. I got guys that are dying to learn, dying to listen. I think all four of them are going to be very, very good players, hopefully in the near, near future. Starting tonight for the Michigan State Spartans, at guard, a 5'10 freshman, Lou Rawls, Tum Tum, Nairn Jr. When I was a freshman coming in, I kind of figured my role out easily was just to be an energy guy, bring energy every single day to practice. I ended up starting the last 16, 17 games of the season as a freshman. Draymond Green told me something three years ago when Tom arrived on campus. He said, Coach, you, you've never had a freshman captain. You better figure out a way to have one this year because this kid is special. What's ahead is this game tonight. So everybody just go out there and, and play with confidence and let's play Spartan basketball. And we pick each other up and it's a road game, so it's going to be crazy. You know, freshman, this is our first Big Ten game. It's going to be crazy, man. But. You know, that's what we came here for, and that's what we do, so... You know, our freshmen are amazing people. I just spent a lot of time with them and just kind of showed them the ropes that, you know, every day, every second, you have to play as hard as you can. Let's go, JL! He's been a big part in just my maturation process here at Michigan State as far as helping me with the learning curve. He just told me, you know, straightforward, it's just a grind. It's an everyday grind. And, you know, if you're not ready for it, then, you know, you don't need to be here. Even though he's the smallest player on the team, he has the biggest heart. He's just, he's a caring, he's a loving person, he's smart, very wise, and he keeps everybody's spirits up. Even a dude like me, we play the same position. You would think that I'm coming in and playing his position, that he would have some hate towards me or some, you know. No, it's just, you know, we compete, of course, we're gonna compete, we compete, but I mean, we in this together. You know, he helps lead Cassius Winston, and he helped do such a good job that he took his spot for a while. You got to be a heck of a kid to do that. You know, you get guys to listen by the way you lead. You lead by example, but you also lead by showing them that you really care for them as people. There's not a guy in this team that doesn't trust them. And uh, when you have enough that you can help people that are taking your minutes, my kind of guy.